Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on Shiba Inu token. In my previous video, we were watching that the price line of Shiba Inu uh, formed this bear flag and we were expecting that the price action will uh, break down this bear flag and this was in fact a symmetrical triangle. This was the resistance and this was the support and the price action broke out the resistance of this symmetrical triangle. We had a very nice move and here the price action formed another uh, up channel and by the way this is the hourly time frame chart and recently the price action has broken down the support of this up channel and now the price line is moving down and in today's video uh, we will try to analyze whether the price line will continue its move to the downside or it will be moved back and it re-entered the channel again and before starting the analysis if you're not subscribed to my channel so far then do subscribe it and for more ideas you can also support me at the patreon because here i am sharing the different trading ideas on the daily basis you can find the link to join me here in the video's description okay recently we can see that the price line uh, formed this up channel and broke down this support of the channel and right now it is moving up and if I connect all these candlesticks, for example, I'm just going to remove all these uh, trend lines and I'm just connecting all these candlesticks, then we can see that on the, on the very immediate short term, the price line is uh, respecting this uptrend line. So it will be a bigger up channel if we will have another move and other rejection from here. Even though we have so many touches here and we have several touches here as well, but there is a big gap. So in order to establish this channel, we will need some more zigzag move between this channel and this channel will be confirmed. However, we have uh, several touches here and several touches here as well. And if I play the volume profile to show you uh, which one is the most traded area to the downside or to the upside, then we can see that the traders are interested to trade up to this level that is even below the support and if I play this trend line here then the traders are not interested to trade uh, during this channel above this level so we have more pressure to the downside at the support and we also have this point of control very close to the support now if we watch the different support and resistance levels and by the way this is a four hourly time frame chart then here uh, previously, I was telling you that this is really very strong and important area. You can see that previously the, the candlesticks have been moving here in this area. And as a support, the price line is not able to break down uh, even after these attempts and these attempts as well. That this area is starting from point double zero double zero two zero one zero dollars and goes to double zero double zero two three dollars But right now we can see that this strong support zone is moved up now i'm expecting that the price action will not break down this support you can see previously the candlesticks have been uh, moving in this uh, in this level but the price line was not able to break out and after a few rejections the price action moved up and while um, trying to move up from here when we had this drop and the price action was moving here between 0.23 to 0.2010 dollars and uh, then we also had several rejections. We had one, two, three rejections here and the price action moved up. Right now, again, this level is breaking as a very nice support. This time I'm expecting that this level that is now starting from 0.00025 and get going to 0.00023 dollars, it can work as a very, very strong support. Now, if we take a look at the RSI on the same four hourly time frame chart, then right now, uh, the RSI has started forming higher lows. You can see that the price action formed uh, this low and this is not confirmed that this is another low. It is possible that we will have another sell off and it will be moved more down. However, right now it is likely to be another higher low and RSI is also following the price line. Previously we were having a hidden bullish divergence here when we had the higher lows, higher lows, higher lows by the price line and the RSI was for being lower lows. So there was a hidden bullish divergence, therefore we had uh, a powerful bullish rally. Despite the RSI was also forming uh, lower highs against, against the price action, price action was forming higher highs. Therefore, uh, the, the price line uh, ignored this bearish divergence and followed the hidden bullish divergence and we had this powerful rally to the upside. Right now, 
there is no bullish divergence or a hidden bullish divergence but if the rsi will be forming higher higher lows and higher highs with the price line that will be also very good signal a positive bullish signal and the price action can continue its move to the upside so let's see i'm expecting that this will work as a very strong support previously like this level from uh, 23 to 2010 was working at a very nice support right now this level can work as a very good support so this was the update so far i hope that you have liked the analysis then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more ideas you can also support me at the patreon because here i am sharing the different trading ideas on the daily basis you can find the link to join me here in the video description i've shared take care goodbye